Okay, uh, hello hang printing community. I just thought I'd show you how to quickly get up and running with the USB system. Uh, so we're going to start off uh, in Ubuntu uh, and with a USB stick uh, that has some files on it. Um, you can use any USB stick that you have lying around. I'll just insert this like uh, there, and you might want to to repartition it to just make it all clean. You do that like this. Uh, I'll just erase whatever what was on there. You don't need to do that if you if you just keep your USB stick as it is with files on it uh, they won't get touched my whole stick uh, but I'm just showing you how to do this in case you ever need to do so okay um, uh, from here on I would like to I'll just unplug my USB stick again and uh, I would like to use uh, the hang printer assembly workshop system itself uh, I'll just run it in the virtual machine so I can show you what what's going on you need to s install VirtualBox like this, it's already installed here, so no need to do anything. Um, uh, let's uh, also see that we are in the VBox users group. Um, this is needed to access USB later. Um, if you're not in the VBox users group yet, you can um, write this command to add yourself or this. This is your username. Add yourself to the VBox user group and uh, log out and log in again. Reboot your machine or something and get back to this video. If you're already in the group like I am, then you can just uh, launch VirtualBox. Uh, let's delete the old machine and create a new one so you see how to do it. Uh, oh, this. this is just a name, call it anything. It's a 64 bit system. Let's give it some RAM. Let's not change anything. Create. So now we have a virtual machine in VirtualBox and we want to insert uh, the system um, the Proteus system into our virtual machine and that is done here in the storage devices uh, I happen to already have this file on my machine that we're going to use is this one but you will not have that already, you will have to download it and you can download it from uh, handprinter.org slash iso slash of slash that name of or uh, of nemesis proteus x86 slash for so and uh, save file somewhere you can find it and then get back to your uh, virtual box open settings open storage open uh, your file, uh, press the CD, empty, choose a file, choose the one you downloaded, and it's in. Um, 
Now there's one more thing that you want to do to get VirtualBox running and that is to download the USB extension VirtualBox um, here VirtualBox downloads uh, choose uh, you want this VirtualBox extension pack for support uh, USB 2, USB 3 press that one, save it uh, and then um, inside VirtualBox you hit uh, preferences you hit extensions and you do a plus add a new package then you choose your package open I already did, that, did it it should show up here um, and you, you want to access your USB port but VirtualBox wants to know if your USB port and your, your USB stick is USB 2 or USB 3 so that's another setting I set it here um, USB uh, let's try USB 3 since I'm using that okay and now we should be able to start the system and get access to USB ports uh, let's just start it with uh, no, s no changes are saved to the system and nothing uh, the whole system is not uploaded to ROM takes a few seconds to boot and there we have it dressed in black okay so I'm inside the Proteus system I will take my fresh USB stick insert it into the computer uh, Ubuntu wanted that USB stick we want Proteus to have it so we we right click the USB icon down here choose the USB stick and uh, we should have some action let's see if it Yes, here it is, my whole stick. Uh, it has um, nothing on it yet. But let's take uh, these folders and just copy them over. I think that will work. Oh, by the way. Um, this folder is just the fol uh, the backup files that I use in the workshops in case uh, participants uh, can't manage to boot the Proteus system uh, neither from their USB ports directly or within a virtual box or anything if it just fail then they have all these backup files already downloaded for them uh, but I won't uh, copy those files right now because I always succeed myself <laughs> so that's a 1.5 gigabyte copy it might take a few minutes forty two seconds I'll just call uh, <laughs> pause the the screencast and we're back into Portheus all the files are copied over to my hot stick um, my hot stick is actually uh, mint uh, let's remember that and open the terminal change directory to mint one and the reason we want uh, 
to stand in that directory with the terminal is that we want to run a script. That script is hidden in the boot folder and it, it, it is called Proteus Installer for Linux. Uh, let's do sudo no let's do super user su and write the password uh, it is t o o r that's the root password in um, Proteus and now we have special privileges so now we can run the script uh, do it like that sh Proteus install for Linux enter and it asks us if we want it to be dev stb1 yes uh, so this script will actually make whatever uh, it finds in, in this path uh, into a bootable uh, drive so this is our USB stick and we want it to be bootable so yes press ok Finished successfully, our USB stick now has Proteus on it and we can boot from it. Uh, it's a shame I can't do screencast while rebooting my system, uh, but if I could, I would do it. Uh, that is what you probably should do if you don't want to continue running the system in a virtual machine. Uh, if you need help to boot uh, from a USB stick uh, with your machine uh, there are some help available online uh, the most usual way you get to do that is that you uh, power off your computer then you press power on and frenetically hit F2 or escape until you get into some sort of men menu and in that menu you get to choose whether you want to boot from your hard drive or from your USB stick. Uh, let's see... I may actually made a list of uh, more exactly how to do it with various kinds of laptops and I published it online. Let's see if I can find that list. Seems like my virtual machine is dying or something. What is going on? Let's just use the Ubuntu Ubuntu one. Let's see, I've stored it over at open source going into my work log from a long time ago and hit the find that list somewhere here wow I've done much work mm. Here, here is that URL, opensourceecology.org slash wiki slash d3d underscore live underscore ISO hash computer underscore models underscore verified underscore two underscore two. Yes, um, this is my old laptop, only had to press F2. This is my dad's. He has to press a special button. Yeah. Uh, if you don't find your computer here, I recommend uh, web searching boot from USB uh, your computer model here, and you will get help. That's all, folks.
Bye-bye.